What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you guys can probably tell by the thumbnail and the title, um, this isn't the collab that I promised you guys for today. That's actually gonna be coming out tomorrow or on Thursday um, because we got a little busy and schedules didn't line up. So we're gonna be doing that. Hopefully Thursday is gonna be dropping and this is dropping on Wednesday. So hopefully tomorrow you should get that video. But today we are trading everybody on the Brooklyn Nets. So KD's gone, Kyrie's gonna be gone, Spencer Dinwiddie, Jared Allen, Karis LeVert, everybody's gonna be gone. So we're gonna randomly be trading all of those players. So that's that's the video today. If you guys have not already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and then like this video. It's all greatly appreciated. Now let's get into it. All right, so this is the team we have. Obviously, KD and Kyrie are like the star players on this team, but then we also got like Dinwiddie, Allen, Jordan, LeVert. There's some people with some trade value, so this one should be a lot of fun. But like I said, we are gonna randomly be trading everyone. So I'm not sure if there's gonna be offers for KD. There's not right now, so we're gonna have to try and find something later. But um, now we're just gonna go ahead and start. I gotta grab my phone. So again, today we're gonna be asking Siri to help us pick our trades. So the first person I wanna trade is Kyrie Irving. And we're gonna get some solid offers for Kyrie. Probably not as good a value as um, he would have gotten us, but we're gonna be trading him by himself. So, hey Siri. Picking number one through 16. She said 16, so we're getting John Wall and Rui Hachimura. Rui should develop a little bit if we don't trade him, but he definitely should have some good trade value. Uh, John Wall is probably gonna be traded just because his contract is ginormous, and I really don't know how much better John Wall is gonna be getting in 2K. So next person, we're gonna go Dinwiddie, but we're also gonna throw DeAndre Jordan with him just to get you know up to that $20 million range. Um, there's a few options. None of them are that great. That makes me question if that's the trade I want to do then. Um, maybe we'll just go Dinwiddie by himself. Oh yeah, no, that's not the trade. Okay, so we'll go Jordan and Dinwiddie and we'll ask Siri. So, hey Siri. Hey Siri. Pick a number one through 18. She said 14, so we're gonna be going with Derek White and Rudy Gay. Not a very good trade for Spencer Dinwiddie. Um, now Jared Allen. Is there any money I can throw at Allen? We'll throw him with. Um, there's not really any money, so we'll go Jared Allen by himself. He makes two million dollars. We got 27 trade offers. So, hey Siri. Hey Siri. Picking number one through 27. She said one, so we got Matisse Thibel. Probably a pretty good trade offer there, but um, we'll go with Matisse Thibel also bringing in a lottery protected first round pick. Now Karis LeVert's gotta get traded, so we'll trade LeVert and we'll throw Joe Harris with him. Hey Siri, pick a number one through 26. We got 10, so who is trade number 10? Oh, we could have had Clint Capella, but we're getting Devontae Graham and Willie Hernan Gomez. That's not terrible. Devontae Graham should develop pretty well. Who else has to be traded now? Nicholas Claxton, Torian Prince. Hey Siri. Pick a number one through 27. She said 15. So we're going to have to go over to trade 15, which is Boban and Justin Jackson. And how many more trades do we have to do? We got to trade Tyler Johnson and um justin anderson yeah okay why does he have that h next to him no idea why he has that but there's 19 trade offers so hey siri picking number one through 19. 17 so we got jared vanderbilt in the second round pick it's whatever. These players, I mean, getting rid of Tyler Johnson's contract is good. But Musa's got to go. Karuks has got to go. And I don't remember if Luau Cabarro is on this team or not. We're going to trade all three of them together, though. And this is going to be the only trade, but we can't get Joe Harris back. So maybe we'll just trade the two of them. All right. Hey, Siri. Pick a number one through 25. 13. So who is trade 13? We're gonna have to make that trade. Jared Dudley and Quinn Cook. Jared Dudley used to be on the Nets, uh, but he's no longer on the Nets. Obviously, he is on the Lakers. Quinn Cook, he's not on the Nets originally. So Wilson Chandler, Cabarro, and then these two two-way guys, and we should be good other than 
Kevin Durant. So, um, we have 19 offers. So, hey Siri. Hey Siri. Pick a number one through 19. 12. So, we're going to go trade number 12. Then we're going to trade our two two-way guys. And then we are going to... So there's two offers here. So, hey Siri, pick a number one or two. A random number between zero and 100 is 88. No. Pick a number between one and two. The she picked one. one. So we're getting Matt Mooney. And now I just want to make sure everybody on the roster has not or is not a part of the um, Nets usually. So it looks like everybody has been traded. That was on this team. All right, so the next move we have to do then is see if we can trade Kevin Durant. We cannot. So we're going to have to go to Intel. And we're going to change ourselves to... Let's see if we get one um, on rebuilding. Otherwise, we're going to have to go to selling. So there's three offers, actually. Ben Simmons. So it's either going to be Ben Simmons and Tobias Harris, or it's going to be Shea Gilgis Alexander and Chris Paul because... Kyrie cannot come back to this team. So it's either one or two. So, hey Siri. Hey Siri. Pick a number between one and two. We got two. So we're getting Shea Gilgis Alexander and Chris Paul. All right. So this is the roster for the year. We have a lot of guards. I need to go check out. <laughs> I'm going to move Shea to a small forward for right now. And... I'm just trying to get this figured out a little bit better. I guess that's the best we can do for this season. So we're gonna simulate this season. I'm gonna probably go fix up the staff some. I'm not sure what their staff looks like, but Kenny Atkinson, we could probably afford to get a better coach. So we'll try and bring in... I always bring in Michael Stoff, or maybe we try and bring in like, I don't know. We'll bring in Jacob Underwood today. Assistant coach Jacques Vaughn is going to be gone. We're going to bring in Trent Peterson. And then a trainer. We're going to try and find a better trainer. We're going to bring in Christopher Porter. And assistant GM. We're going to bring in Eric Brown. Okay. Now the staff is set. Let's go set the system and then we'll be good. So grit and grind is three and a half or three stars. Literally everything's three stars. We're going to simulate season number one because we can't make any trades in this season. If you guys have seen the other trading everybody rebuilds, you know, we can't make any trades after we trade everybody. But then after that, we're going to start rebuilding and have two more seasons. Um, but yeah, so I will catch you guys at the end of season number one. So actually partway into this, I decided I'm going to try and send. Um, I'm going to try and send. Uh, Shea Gills Alexander and also um, maybe like Devontae Graham to the G League. So we're going to call up Quinn Cook and Justin Jackson and then we're going to send down Shea and Devontae Graham. Might have to go sign somebody now. So let's go and try and sign. I'm so confused. Okay, let's go back to the roster. Is there somebody else in the G League that I have to call up? Oh yeah, Gary Clark. So we're going to call him up and then we're going to send down Devontae Graham. I'll rebuild the rotation because we're going to be bad this year anyways. Might as well go full tank mode. And all right, I could send Rui down there too though. Maybe I should send Rui instead of Devontae Graham. I think that's what we're going to do. So Rui's going to go down there instead of Graham. Um, also, while we're here, while I'm at, I'm just going to look at the salary cap table. We don't have any money, but that's because we have John Wall and Chris Paul, both of whom are going to be traded, and we can probably get good value for them this offseason. If we throw some picks on, we might be able to get something really good. So I will simulate this season now, and we'll move on with it. So I'll catch you guys at the end of it. Okay, so this team turned out to be a little bit better than I hoped. We ended up with a 35-47 and 47 record. Uh, you guys can't see that, but I was hoping we'd probably get like 25 wins, but I guess Chris Paul and John Wall on the team helps out some here are the, all the awards john wall did win six man of the year makes sense he's coming off the bench for chris paul and then we have nobody else so anybody on any all nba teams for the nets no defensive teams also no 
and then rookie teams no so let's go check out the stats quick before we simulate these playoffs i didn't check but i'm guessing we did not make the playoffs but here are all the awards um shea was averaging 15 before he went down to the g league and rui was averaging eight eight points and eight rebounds before he went to the g league i'm excited for rui hachimura to come in and play next season all right so we will simulate the playoffs we are not in them so i will we'll just kind of see who wins this i guess um guessing it's gonna be like the clippers or the bucks okay the bucks beat the nuggets and Giannis is the finals mvp which totally makes sense happens a lot in 2k so let's go to the draft lottery and let's see what picks we have if any um we have no well it says the timberwolves have our pick but i don't know how that work like what it's protected by in 2k so we get pick 10. I'm pretty sure it's lottery. It's lottery protected in real life. I know that for a fact because I'm praying that the Nets make the playoffs so the Timberwolves still get their pick. But I don't know if 2K has that messed up. But we end up with the 10th pick, so we're good. Staff signing, CFO. We'll just try and bring in Logan Mills. It doesn't really matter to me, but we got him. Now let's get into the draft. Let's see who we can get with that 10th overall pick. Before we go into the draft, I want to turn on um, trade like CPU trade offers. I, I turn them off for the season because it just takes so long to simulate with them on and always having to decline. But um, let's go to our pick and see if we get any offers for it. We're at 10. We do have 23 offers, so let's see. Um, We get pick 15 and a pick next year from the Bucks. Kevin Porter Jr., Kuzma, Derek Rose, but he's expiring. A couple first round picks there. All right, I think we're good. Also, a rule if you guys have not watched this, I can't get any people that played on the Nets in the 2019-2020 season onto the team again. Um, but let's just select somebody. So we got Denny Avdia here. Onyeko Okongwu is here. I think I'm going to take Okongwu. Or Devin Vassell. I think we're going to go with Devin Vassell, actually. He was supposed to go top three in this uh this draft that i loaded in here and now he is not so what pick do we have here 29 this must be in the second round or something maybe it's in the first round jay scrubs here patrick williams i like patrick williams in real life we'll see how he is in this oh so he must have had the 29th pick from someone i don't remember we got five trade offers for our second round pick they're just future seconds i'm not going to do that let's select somebody here uh desmond bain i know he's real so we will take those three and we'll see how they got how good they got. So Vassell is a 73. Was there better people on the board? Okongu is a 75. I should have taken Okongu. But Vassell had better uh, or more badges, so I kind of went off that. I think we're gonna accept all these players' contracts. Uh, obviously gonna accept the team option on Devontae Graham. And then for qualifying offers, yeah, those two make so little money, it doesn't really matter to me. And free agency, obviously not gonna have enough money to sign anybody. But time to trade John Wall, I think. So I'm going to throw in a couple. I don't have any first round picks in next year's draft. So we're going to try and throw in John Wall. And maybe like two seconds next year and see what we can get for him. So Zach Levine would be an option. You know, he'd be on a cheaper contract. We could trade Otto Porter. We'd have, a, have to give up a first round pick in the future. But that wouldn't be too bad. You know, I like having a smaller contract like Zach Levine. DeJounte Murray, also a small contract. Deja DeAndre Jordan, we'd have to trade him away if we did make this trade. Devin Booker, I never just get offered Devin Booker. But I think DeJounte Murray is going to be my option here. And then we're going to trade away DeAndre Jordan right away. So let's go trade Jordan before he even settles down in New York. And just see what we can get for him. Bruno Fernando, uh, Mitchell Robinson... I think we're going to do the Mitchell Robinson trade. I feel like I haven't had Mitchell Robinson a lot lately. Um, and he makes so little money that it's really going to help our team out a bunch. So we're going to do Mitchell Robinson 2024 first for DeAndre Jordan and Jared Vanderbilt. And then Chris Paul also should get traded. So, well, let's throw in this 2023 Nets pick with Chris Paul. We could bring in Zach Levine now and save a bunch of money. Have to flip Otto Porter, obviously. But Zach Levine would be nice. Kristaps would also be nice, but he's on $29 million. Uh, Jamal Murray. D'Angelo Russell could come in. He's on $28 million. He could run, like, point guard for us. 
but I think we'll have Zach Levine run shooting guard for us. And then we'll trade away Otto Porter's huge contract. So Otto Porter can get traded. We'll trade Rudy Gay as well. We might have to trade them separately. Clint Capella's here. That'd be $16 million. That's a pretty cheap contract. Um, and we could even flip him if we wanted to. But it might be easier just to flip him than those other guys because now the contract's a lot smaller. So let's go ahead and take... Well, let's see how much money we have first off. We have $22 million in salary cap room. Who else makes too much money that should be traded? Um, you know, Justin Jackson, $5 million. That's probably a bit too much. If I could get something a little bit smaller, uh, I'll definitely do that. Or just like a draft pick or something. I saw a couple 2022... Here's a 2021 first round pick, so we'll do that. And anybody else? I think we're probably good. So let's trade away Clint Capella here and just try and get somebody on a smaller contract. Uh, Rashawn Holmes would be nice, but he's on the last year of his deal. Mo Bamba would be nice. Um, he's a lot cheaper, you know, $11 million cheaper. Jackson Hay is also $11 million cheaper. Um, I think we're going to go with uh, Mo Bamba here and also bringing in Kem Birch. And then quick, I'm just going to trade a couple of these people like Quinn Cook and Kem Birch that make a little bit too much money each. And we'll just try and get, you know, like a Bruno Fernando or a couple first round picks from the Knicks. That works fine. So um, Shea is probably going to stay at small fort. Actually, we're probably going to take Shea back to, well, no, we'll keep it how it is, I think. Zach Levine. We're going to run Zach Levine at small forward. We're going to run Shea at shooting guard and then DeJounte Murray at uh, point guard. But I'm going to go in and make sure that Zach Levine's backup position is a shooting guard so he's not playing as a power forward like he was in my video yesterday. So we're going to go edit his player quick and make sure that that's set up how I want it to be. So secondary position will be a shooting guard. That way he's not coming in to play any power forward minutes. So our starting lineup is pretty much set except for we need a power forward. So that's what we're going to go try and do in free agency. But we also have Roy Hachimura. So let's go in here. Um, we have Anthony Davis here. We would have enough money to sign AD. Um, I'm going to try and sign AD. And if I get Anthony Davis, I will just trade him because I don't really want to have him on the team. So I'm not going to throw him the no trade offer. And then other than that, we'll probably throw like white side a contract and drum. Um, yeah, Drummond, I guess. So Drummond is agreeing. Anthony Davis must be signing elsewhere. So do I want Drummond for that or Hassan Whiteside for this amount? I think we're going to go with Whiteside so we can get somebody better. Anthony Davis went back to the Lakers. That makes total sense. All right. I was just going to try and trade him anyway, see if we could do it, and then get really good value for someone else. Other than that, let's try and sign, um, you know, like Bogdanovich. I haven't got Bogdanovich in a long time. Oh, he's going to the Miami Heat. So let's try Malik Beasley then. And see if we can get Malik in here. We do. And then maybe Bismack Biombo. All right, how many people are on the roster? So we got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Perfect. I'll get out of free agency. We'll go to player progression. We'll see how everybody looks on this team. Uh, a couple qualifying offers accepted there. Shea is up to an 89, Zach Levine's an 82, Whiteside's an 82. One of these two is going to run my power forward unless I trade Whiteside, which I'm very... It's likely that I'm going to trade Whiteside. Um, Ru Hachimura is up to an 83, that's good. Mo Bamba even came in. I guess he could have played power forward for me. This team looks nice. Okay, so let's go to training camps. I'll send a couple people. We should have two, and then I'll get into the season. All right, so we have too, too many people on this roster, so we're going to be looking at trading... Um, right now instead of in the future. So who I said I wanted to trade was um, Well first let's go to team Intel. So I am contending. Okay, so First off I want to trade Hassan Whiteside But I want to throw somebody with a little bit of trade value with them So we'll throw in Desmond Bain and then we'll also throw in this lottery protected 2022 pick and see if we can get anybody nice there DeMontis Sabonis cheaper contract um, younger would get a lot better. Jackson Hayes, Blake Griffin, Steven Adams. Okay, so what if we did 
just Hassan Whiteside. And what I'm just looking at seeing what this would get us, if it's worth it or not. Okay, let's go here. Let's see if there's any rebuilding teams with a really good big man. Um, not There's really not any rebuilding teams. I guess Jaron Jackson Jr. is on a rebuilding team with the Grizzlies. Let's try and go get Jaron Jackson Jr. So I'm going to propose a trade to the Grizzlies. They're going to give me back Jaron Jackson Jr. I'm going to give them Hassan Whiteside. Um, $18 million. So they'll have to send me like... Gorgie Jang. Oh, they consider Jaron Jackson Jr. untouchable. Okay, so we're not going to be able to do that. I probably should have looked at that anyways. Um, okay, so we go past the Grizzlies. Who else is there? The Kings. So they have Marvin Bagley. We could try and get Bagley, but I think he's on the last year of his deal. So we're just going to go ahead and trade Hassan Whiteside, this first round pick. Oops. Uh, Hassan Whiteside, Desmond Bain. And then this first, we'll go with this Mavericks pick here because the Mavericks are going to be good. So I don't want their pick anyways. Clint Capella again, save us a little bit of money. He could run power forward, but I just get Clint Capella all the time. Sabonis. I think I'm going to go with Sabonis here. And we also brought in Jeremy Lamb, who probably should get traded because I think he makes a little bit too much money. $10 million. Yeah, so Lamb, Biombo are going to be traded. Hopefully he can bring in just like one player. Uh, Kelly Olenek's on a one-year deal. We'd bring in a first-round pick with him. Also, Tim Hardaway Jr. I think we'll go with Kelly Olenek just to get that uh, pick done. And then we should be able to get into the season, right? Oh, shoot. What did I just do? I don't know what I just did, but they might have just cut somebody for me. Um, but this is now the rotation, and the starting lineup is really solid. The bench is even really good. Uh, Rui Hachimura, Mo Bamba, Devontae Graham... What's his contract looks look like here? So he's on the last year of his deal. We'll probably look to trade him. Derek White also. Okay. So Devontae Graham. And we'll throw like Olenek with him just to get a little bit of money. And see if we can bring in a better backup shooting guard. Eric Bledsoe. I mean, he makes a lot of money, but he could play backup shooting guard for us and actually be pretty nice. I haven't brought Bledsoe in for a while. Um, so that's probably what I'm going to do here. We also bring in a first round pick in 2025. So Bledsoe is going to run back up um, shooting guard for us. What was the trade I just made? Oh, Derek White. I thought I traded Devontae Graham. Okay, so now we're going to trade Devontae Graham. And we'll throw him with Malik Beasley and a future, future first, like this 2023 first from the Knicks. Okay, and then we'll see what we can get from that trade. We need to get a sh backup point guard, probably. Um, Nico Mannion was there. Spencer Dinwiddie, he's on a one-year contract, and then he has a player option, so we'd have to try and re-sign him, but I think we'll do that. We also bring in Lucas Amanek. So then, what's the rest of the um, bench look like? Honestly, it's really solid. Um, Matisse Thibel is going to run back up small forward for me. And then I think we're going to be able to get into the rest of the season. Anybody need to go to the G League? I could send Vassell down to the G League quick if I have. Um, I might have to sign somebody. Nope, we're good. Just Devin Vassell going down there. 10-man rotation. And bench utilization. I'm going to go down a little bit again to 20. Okay, so now this is the rotation. I like how we're sitting. We don't have any superstars, but we have a lot of really solid players. So let's simulate season number two, and let's see how good this team can be. I'll catch you guys at the end of the season. Okay, so in season number two wrapped up, Giannis won MVP again. Here are the rest of the awards. Clint Capella won six man down in Orlando. Shout out to him. Um, and then Rick Carlisle won coach of the year. So no nets again. All NBA teams, no nets. Defensive teams, none. Rookie teams, also none. So, uh, we are the four seed. We end up with a 50 and 32 record. And let's check out the stats before we go into the playoffs. Um, You know, Zach Levine, 20 points. Other than that, I think, I, I think we need a star player. I really think that's what we need on this team. So, let's simulate up against Orlando here. Um, we're going to lose in the first round. Oh no, we end up winning in seven. Okay, so now we're going up against Philly, which we're definitely not going to beat them. 
Oh, we just 4 one Philly. Now Atlanta. And they 4 0 us. Okay. That sounds more like it. So let's simulate the Suns and Hawks finals. Just one year into the future of where we are right now. Very interesting. Devin Booker wins a title in Phoenix. Shout out to Devin Booker. Let's go to the draft lottery again. Uh, see if we have picks where they're at. I don't remember. So do I see any Nets picks? We have the 16th pick from Portland. And I think that's it. So let's get into the draft and let's see what we can do with that Portland pick. So at 16, there's a couple people here. Um, I'm going to go with Baji. And then we're going to get out of the draft. I don't think we had... I don't know what other pick we had. Um, we had two second round picks. I'm not going to bring either of them in. We had a 73 overall at pick 16, which is super nice. So we're going to take Baji, and then we're going to go to player options, accept the team option on everybody that we can, even Semantic, sure. Uh, Spencer Dinwiddie declined his player option. That's a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. So qualifying offers, we'll say one can get his qualifying offer. And then we're going to have to go and re-sign Spencer Dinwiddie. So we'll offer him this contract, see if he takes that. Hopefully we're at the top of his offers. We're his only offer so far. He's going to agree to that. Um, we're going to renounce the rights on Boban and Wesley Iwundu, I think. And we'll just make sure that we get Spencer Dinwiddie, and then we will see what other moves we can make. So what's our cap space situation look like? We have negative 9 million, and we have a bunch of like medium-sized contract. Like Our biggest contract is Dinwiddie, and we just signed him. So like... Um, I'm gonna go look at the team, see who underperformed last season, and then probably trade one of them. So, like, Sabonis, I feel like he didn't play that well last year. 13 points. Yeah, 10 rebounds. I think Sabonis is gonna be out the door. So we're gonna trade Sabonis and see what we can get for him. Um, it's not a lot out here for Sabonis, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, Tobias Harris is here, but if we throw Baji with him, maybe we can get something better. Jaron Jackson Jr., he was untouchable before, but now he's not. That would be an interesting signing for sure, or trade, I guess. Um, Marvin Bagley would also be good. I think we're going to go with Jaron Jackson Jr. I really think that's an upgrade. We're going to lose Baji, but we're bringing in Grayson Allen. Um, Baji wasn't going to play for us anyways, so... Eric Bledsoe also is going to get traded away. So we'll throw in like a future first with him. See what we can get with him out in a trade. Um, Derek Rose. Evan Fournier. TJ Warren. like to bring in a backup guard. There's not really a lot out here. Okay, so maybe we don't throw in that first round pick. Maybe we just throw in uh, Eric Bledsoe as he is. All right, so that's not getting us anything. Anybody else I thought about trading? Um, I could look into trading Spencer Dinwiddie right now. If I throw in a couple first-round picks, maybe we can get something for Spencer Dinwiddie now that I just signed him to a big contract. Uh, but there's really not anything out here for Spencer Dinwiddie either. Maybe if we run Spencer Dinwiddie as a shooting guard, he will go up a little bit. So as a shooting guard, he is an 86. So we're going to go with that, and we're going to try and trade him. So Dinwiddie, uh, two first round picks. Maybe we can get something. Uh, Colin Sexton could come in and play shooting guard for us. Is that a money saver? That would be a money saver, so that'd be cool. Uh, Kyle Lowry wouldn't save us any money at all. So we're going to go with Colin Sexton and Sadiq Bey. Okay, so what's the salary cap look like now? Uh, we have $11 million. All right, that's not too bad. I still want to trade Bledsoe, I think. So let's go and try and trade Eric Bledsoe. Is there anybody else making like a little bit too much? You know, like Grayson Allen, four million. And then I'm throwing in two future first, or one future first, I guess, is all I can put in here. So we got 22 million going out. We're trying to save some money. Tyler Hero and Bogdanovich, that'd be interesting. Derek Rose wouldn't save us anything. Um... Yeah, there's no options that are really going to save us much money. You know, but I saw Tyrese Halliburton and then Gary Harris. We'd have to flip Gary Harris. So we can maybe do that. 
and that might turn out to be decent if I run Halliburton as a shooting guard. So let's trade Gary Harris right off the bat again then. Gary Harris, $20 million. Um, Sadiq Bey, $2 million. A future second. Just give me Bruno Fernando. That's good. Excuse me. Nikhil Alexander-Walker would also be good with the first round pick there. Uh, Denny Avdia. All right, so Nikhil Alexander-Walker or Bruno? I'm going to go with Bruno because we also bring in a first round pick. Now how much money? We should have a decent amount of money now. $31 million. Is there anybody we can afford out in... Uh, free agency for 31 million donovan mitchell we could afford donovan mitchell we'll give him the player option he is restricted so it's likely he's not going to come to the team um but other than that there's not anybody else i would really need but michael porter jr would be nice so we could throw him this contract okay so mitchell's going back michael porter jr has not accepted a deal yet what is his con well who's at the top so we are not at the top we offered him a three-year um 90 million the clippers offered him more can i even offer him more like am i just stuck with what i got because of my money situation um anybody i could trade out here like i could look into trading zach levine i guess and two first round picks and see if there's anything chris middleton doesn't save us anything jalen brown doesn't save us any money either Jimmy Butler, Devin Booker doesn't save us anything, but those are some trades I could look into doing once the season starts. Um, otherwise, so what's our starting lineup look like? Starting lineup is set with what we have and it's good. Um, DeJounte Murray could be traded, I guess. I really like DeJounte, but if I could save some money with trading him away for somebody else, I would do that. De'Aaron Fox is there. I don't really need De'Aaron Fox. Um, there's not really a point guard that's going to save me money either. Okay, so let's go back to free agency. Um, we're going to offer Michael Porter Jr. this... F I guess this is like the best we could do. I don't... Like, we'll offer him... We'll just keep our offer with him, I guess. And then we'll try and offer, like, Victor Oladipo. We can't quite afford Victor Oladipo. We'll offer him that then, I guess. Who else doesn't have any offers that I could bring in? You know, Markel Fultz wouldn't be too bad. Maybe we should bring in Markel Fultz. So we're going to throw Markel Fultz this offer. Fultz, Michael Porter Jr. is going to the Clippers. Oladipo's come to the team. Okay, so Oladipo or Markel Fultz. Oh, we'll go with Oladipo, I guess. And then... Can we afford anybody else? Jeff Teague, Deion Waiters. Basically, just like minimum, guys. So we'll try and bring in Rudy Gay. And we'll try and bring in Deion Waiters. Alright, so I think we're probably good. Let's go to player progression. Let's look how good this team. I gotta make sure that we have no nets on this team, too. Don't think we do, but I just need to make sure. Um... I don't see any nets. Okay, so I will go to training camps. I'll send a couple people there, and then we'll get into the final season. Hopefully, we can make a run at the championship. Um, that's always the goal. So I will catch you guys when we get into the season. So we have one too many players on the roster, so we're just going to try and trade. You know what? Can we just can we cut somebody? Okay, those people aren't on the roster. So we're going to try and trade like Rudy Gay and Dion Waiters, and just try and bring in one person. Okay, James Ennis and a first round pick. That's cool. Okay, let's get into the season now. So this is what the rotation would look like. Um, it's really solid. We could use a small forward. But Roy Hachimura could maybe play small forward. Oh, I guess Zach Levine's a small forward. And he's coming off the bench for some reason. Um, so then off the bench, we just need a point guard. So we're going to try and trade Victor Oladipo for a point guard. So we got Victor Oladipo, Devin Vassell... And a first round pick from the Thunder. Can we bring in a point guard? Uh, Malcolm Brogdon would be a solid point guard. We could bring in Klay Thompson. And then run DeJounte Murray at point guard. That would be interesting. Uh, so maybe we do that. Let's do Klay Thompson, Eric Paschal. And then we're going to go back and we're going to change. De oh, Murray's a point guard. Who needs to be? We need a point guard off the bench. Okay. First, let's look at the rotation. So then off the bench, we have Shea. Shea could run back a point guard, I guess. So we run Shea at point guard. He goes to an 88. 
I guess that's fine. So then DeJounte Murray, Clay Thompson, Matisse Thibel, Jaron Jackson Jr. We're gonna switch Thibel and Zach Levine, then Mitchell Robinson. Then off the bench will be Thibel, um, Shea Gilgis Alexander, and then Mo Bamba, Colin Sexton, and Rui Hachimura. Eric Pascal is not gonna play any off the bench. All right, I think this team's good enough to win ourselves a championship. Um, we're gonna take Matisse Thibel's minutes. Zach Levine's gonna get a couple more, and then we're gonna give the rest to Shea to come off the bench as our sixth man. Okay, I like this team a lot, and I think we should be pretty good. So let's check out the system. Grit and grind system is not that great. Uh, we're gonna run a balance system. And we're gonna go look at if there's any better coaches out here. Um, Oliver Gordon, he's not better. We're gonna stick with this. And we're gonna simulate season number three. Hopefully we can win a championship and everything will be fine and dandy in Brooklyn. So I'll catch you guys at the end of the season. So season number three wrapped up. We had 58 wins, 24 losses. Uh, here are all of the awards. Devin Vassell wins sixth man of the year in Golden State after I traded him for Klay Thompson. Um, the Mavericks won 66 games. So they're gonna be a tough uh, person to go up against in the playoffs if we do meet them in the finals. But I don't see any Brooklyn Nets Oh, DeJounte Murray makes defensive second team, so that's cool to see. I gotta go check on something quick. Okay, yeah, so I made a mistake, and more or less just because with all the trades and everything, it gets really hectic, and I wasn't thinking. I had Spencer Dinwiddie last season, and I shouldn't have had him because he was on the Brooklyn Nets, so I apologize for that. Um, but he's not on the team anymore, so that's good. We didn't win a championship last year, so it doesn't affect too much other than some trades and everything. But yeah, I just wanted to acknowledge, like, I had Dinwiddie, shouldn't have had him, uh, that was a mistake, but he's not on the team any longer. But anyways, the stats for the season, uh, Zach Levine averaged 21, Clay came in, averaged 15, Jaron Jackson Jr., 15, Shea, 14, uh, 13 from DeJounte Murray with 6 rebounds and 6 assists. Uh, Mo Bamba also played well off the bench, almost averaged a double-double. Yeah, really good stuff, honestly. So we are the one seed, which is cool to see. Let's simulate this round up against Miami. Hopefully we can beat them and move on. We beat them in five. Time to go up against Giannis and the Bucks. This is going to be interesting because our starting power forward is Jaron Jackson Jr. So it's going to be interesting to see if he can uh, hold his own against Giannis. We go down 0-1. We tie back up. Let's see if we can go up 2-1 to one here. And we do. Let's see if we can go up 3-1 and then just uh, hopefully move on. We are 3-1, so then we win 4-1. Okay, cool. Got a little worried when they stole game one from us, but now we're going up against Philly, who has... Who does Philly have in their team? Um, Philly has Ben Simmons, Josh Richardson, Tobias Harris, Jared Allen, and Joel Embiid. So pretty much same team, except for they have Jared Allen now as their power forward. Al Horford's still coming off the bench. So we, they tie it up 1-1. One, one. They go up 2-1. Okay. Let's not go down 3-1. We go down 3-1. Okay, let's simulate with Simcast then. See if we can beat them in this game and then force a game 6. We're up by like 20, 15, 20 points in the 4th. And we're going to win this one. So we win by 12. Let's go to the next game. We're down 3-2 now. If we can tie it back up and force a game 7, that would be clutch. We're up by 20. It's getting a little bit closer. Hopefully we can stay ahead enough to... Looks like we're going to win. So we won by 11. Game 7 time. Let's get into this and hopefully we can just make our way to the NBA Finals. We're up by about 17 and we're starting to blow them out. So I think we're pretty safe. Yep, we win by 30. And we're in the Finals against the Lakers who have Derrick Rose, Eric Bledsoe, LeBron, Anthony Davis, Marcus Saul, and then off the bench, Frank the Tank, Aaron Baines, Aaron Neesmith, Daquan Jeffries and Rodian's Karooks. So let's simulate the first game. They end up winning. See if we can win the second game, maybe. We lose that game too, so we're going to Simcast already. I gotta see what's happening out here. They are pretty much blowing us out of the water in every game. Um, we're down by like quite a bit here. We lose by eight. So let's go reset the rotation, I guess. We're down 3-0. So we're gonna go down to a nine-man rotation. And bench utilization is going to go down even further. We're going to go to like 10. Okay. I'm going to take even more minutes away from the bench. 
and we got to get the starters playing a ton of minutes if they want to win a championship that's what we got to do so Dejounte Murray Clay Thompson's got to play like 36 Levine 36 Jaron Jackson Jr. like 36 Bamba 31 okay let's see if we can win a game here we got to win four straight if we want to win this thing and we're down by quite a bit in the fourth down by nine. Oh, we're coming back a little bit oh we went on a run there but we are probably gonna lose yeah no sense in jumping in that one we lost by seven but we would have had to win three more games after it so we do not finish this out the lakers actually do win and we can't get this one done with the nets and this trading everyone rebuild but thank you guys so much for watching this video i do really appreciate it we ended up obviously not winning a championship but uh this one was a ton of fun it was crazy to see how good a team we could build even after trading away Kyrie and KD and uh the team turned out really good um kind of un kind of unfortunate that we didn't win the championship I'm a little down about that but uh that Lakers team was good so not much to really cry about but um other than that thank you guys so much for watching it's been a ton of fun uh, make sure to tune in tomorrow for that collab again two people let me know who you think it is in the comment section below but uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been TKE. It's been real. Peace out.